It is alleged the group called the Nigerian High Commission in Namibia, complaining of unfair treatment by the customs and immigration officials at the Hosea Kutako International Airport. This reportedly led to the Nigerian High Commissioner to Namibia, Lillian Ono, rejecting visas in retaliation to a number of Namibians who intended to visit Nigeria. Kapofi says the denial of entry by Namibia's immigration to the group was wrongly interpreted as a deliberate attempt to specifically target Nigerian visitors for unknown reasons. He said 802 Nigerians visited Namibia between October last year to March this year, but only nine were denied entry for not meeting basic requirements. What you see is, 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 is a, a decision taken by the representative of the, the Federal Republic of, of Nigeria in Namibia that was unilaterally taken to deny a sizable number of Namibians to travel to Nigeria, uh, apparently in response to us, to Namibia's action by refusing uh, those Nigerians that who do not qualify to come, who do not meet our entry requirements to come to Namibia. So, but as far as we are concerned, Nigerians are coming to Namibia in big numbers. I cannot tell you the statistics of today or yesterday, but there are numbers. I do not know whether I can say the same as far as Namibia going to Nigeria is concerned. Nigeria is amongst African countries which is not part of a pilot immigration project where Namibia will issue visas on arrival to citizens of some African countries. The minister explained that Nigeria was left out because Namibia has a representative in Lagos where travelers can apply for visas. We don't have any diplomatic uh, problems or dispute between ourselves. And Nigeria, that, that, that's not what I know of. The exception is, if you do not meet those requirements, immigration requirements, those officials at the airport are there on duty, and they follow the law, and they will enforce that law. And you can be a Nigerian, you can be a, any other person. You, you, you will definitely be treated the same way. But there are those who think that they are specifically targeted, which is basically a lie. It, it is not that it's not a policy of, of, of our government to target any specific country for whatever reason. We don't have that policy. A Namibian mother who claimed that her daughter was denied a visa after paying a non-refundable amount of $1,000 for a visa application, was surprised by the actions of the High Commission. A Namibian mother who claimed that her daughter was denied a visa after paying a non-refundable amount of $1,000 for a visa application, was surprised by the actions of the High Commission. Speaking on condition of anonymity, she said her daughter's issue was only resolved after the intervention of her daughter's employer abroad. Kaipa Herokanji, NBC News, Vinduk.